As we sit in the sukkah this year, many of us wonder, what is the sukkah really all about? So, like most things in Judaism, there are two opinions. One rabbi explains the sukkah representing the tents where they lived for the 40 years as they wandered through the desert. The other opinion is that there were clouds of glory that surrounded us and protected us throughout the entire 40 years that we were in the desert. So the sukkah that we build now really represents the clouds of glory, which themselves represent God's presence that were with us in the desert. Now, if we go a little bit deeper, we could perhaps see how the sukkah that we build today can represent both opinions. We could basically divide the sukkah into two parts. The roof, which is called the schach, and the walls of the sukkah. Now, the rules for the schach are much more strict than the walls. We can build the walls of a permanent nature. It's the roof that has to represent the concept of the temporary dwelling. So the question is, why this contrast? And with this, we can get deeper into what the, really the holiday of sukkah is all about. It's taught that the sukkah itself represents the idea of faith, the Jewish faith. Really, when God took us out of Egypt, there was false ideologies, people worshiped idols, and God said, it's now time for me to show the world the truth. Avodah Zarah is built on two mistakes. Mistake number one is that God's not here. And mistake number two is that God doesn't care. So he took the Jewish people out of Egypt into a desert and stayed with them in that desert for 40 years, showing that he's both here and in control and that he cares about the Jewish people. But the question is, how does it really work? How does God and man living together in this world really work? So the truth is, it's a two-way street. There's like a partnership. As a matter of fact, in Tana Devele Yehuzuta, it says that one who fulfills the mitzvah of sukkah actually becomes a partner with God in creation. What is the nature of this partnership? What is so special about the sukkah? So when we build the walls, that represents man's effort and man's part in what he came into this world to accomplish. The walls are man-made. And what's the roof? The roof represents God's providence, God's help. Meaning that we have to realize we're not alone in this world. We're in it together with Hashem. God says to you, you go out there and you try, you make an effort, you plant a seed, and I'll be there to make everything work out in the end. I'm there with you. We build the walls, but walls alone, what happens? If it rains, we get rained on. Hashem puts the roof, the schach, protecting us from the rain, protecting us from harm, and also helping us succeed in everything that we do. So the Jewish faith that God showed us in the desert is that we have to do our part and we have to trust in Hashem to do His part.